Who oh, ain't hey, Dimio? I don't even know how I'm gonna do this, but we're gonna do it because I can't. Mmm. I'm not going to put this video together. So, no. Mm -mm -mm. I don't even. I gotta figure out how to get the intro on it. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today is Sickle Saturdays, and every Saturday I'm gonna do like a video on sickle cell anemia. And so this, this is the first video. So, I mean, this is the first video. I'm gonna tell y'all what, what it is. I'm gonna tell you my definition and what, what the uh, Google says sickle cell anemia is. So sickle cell is like it's a what I'm my definition of sickle cell is like it's a blood disorder that affects that affects your body and it's inherited you so you can't like from anybody you have to inherit sickle cell anemia but I'm gonna show you I'm gonna tell you what the Google says let me hit another go in so Google says sickle cell is a group of disorders that cause red blood cells to become missing, misshapen, and broken down. With sickle cell disease, an inherited group of disorders, red blood cells confront, contort into a sickle shape. The cell dies early, leaving a storage of healthy red blood cells and can block blood flow, causing pain which is a sickle cell crisis so yep that's that's the definition of what google says and sickle cell is shaped like a crisis so now the absolute of what sickle cell disease is i'm bringing it so there's four different types of sickle cell there's ss sc beta plus thalassemia it is zero thalassemia. I have sickle cell SS. I know my friend has SS. My other friend has SS. Um, I know one person has SC. And I'm, I, I haven't like met people with beta zero thalassemia or beta plus thalassemia. But I know of this one person that has beta beta zero plus thalassemia. Yeah, so there's a four different types of sickle cell. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all the inheritance of sickle cell disease. So I'm gonna read on Google what's the inheritance of sickle cell disease. So, sickle cell conditions inherited from parents. It was the same way as blood type, hair color, texture, eye color, and physical traits. The types of hemoglobin a person makes up red blood cells depend upon what hemoglobin genes the person inherits from his is or her parents. The most genes, hemoglobin genes, are inherited in two sets. One from each parent. So, yeah. So if one parent has sickle cell anemia and the other is normal, all children will have sickle cell trait. And then, so, second example they're saying is if one parent has sickle cell anemia, SS, and the other as to go to a trait a as with a as there is a 50 percent chance or one out of two of having baby with a sickle cell disease or sickle cell trait so then with both parents having sickle cell trait they have 25 percent of one out of four of having baby with sickle cell disease yep some but so i have sickle cell as as um Basically, being is that I have sickle cell SS, if I decided to get married to somebody that doesn't have sickle cell, and we have a kid, the kid will basically have have a the trait. And if I decide to marry somebody that, that has a sickle cell trait, the the pretty percent chance the kid will have the disease or the trait. Yeah, so that's it for today, guys. Stay tuned for. Next Saturday, which is 
next Saturday. Her end, so Saturday after today. See y'all. Have a good day.